Hello everyone, my name is Adam Glitch, and welcome to more Mega Man Maker. This is a very special kind of video because I'm going to be showing off a very special kind of stage. This stage is Mega Metroid, one of my most anticipated projects I've ever done. Um, I love this stage a lot, but there is a lot to be desired and a lot of changes that need to be made to help make this stage better. Y'all will see as we go through it bit by bit, and hopefully the game can process it. So, wish me luck. But this, without further ado, let's get this stage started. Already, this is a very big stage, so you have been warned. If it even loads, to be honest. Okay, <laughs> we got it to work a little bit, but um, Mega Metroid is essentially me trying to recreate Super Metroid inside of Mega Man Maker. The map is pretty big when it comes to the level editor. Um, this stage has a lot to be desired, a lot of changes, and definitely a lot of... F a lot of <sighs> I got lazy on this level a lot. You can definitely tell with the tiles just being the same and not being like different designed, like how the other levels I've made were. Um, no enemies in here just because enemies normally appear inside, but Enemy spam is a huge name of the game here Which was annoying at first when I was trying to go through it I just didn't really want to go through the whole level all over and like fixed enemy placement So it just is what it is, but I will fix it Definitely a lot of fixes a lot of changes need to be made um like I said, it's just based off of Super Metroid into a Mega Man level, which is not a good idea. Just, this was poorly executed. I could have made this way better. There we go. And we're gonna do that. Go through there. Okay. This is supposed to be the area where you get like the recreation of Mother Brain's lair in Super Metroid. I guess a lot is to be desired. <laughs> and this is where we get the Morph Ball. Or the Resh Coil to be exact. And then, um, this was also the f one of the first levels I used that had the keys. Um, the key function actually gets, um, fixed in later updates. Because if you don't use the keys correctly, you wouldn't have enough keys left over to get the secret item that's in this stage. Um, so I'm so glad that they actually, like, fixed this little key problem. And then this here is where you'll get, um... Missiles, pretty much. <laughs> Which being the magnet missiles. <laughs> but of course, since this is also a Metroid game, M Metroid Mega Man ish level, um. <laughs> gonna be very conservative for your power. Okay, I keep getting hit. It's annoying. <laughs> There we go. 
And then, um, you're gonna need the high jump boots for that. Because even with Rush Coil, we can't make it up there. That's something you can do if you ever wanted to get it for, like, a Metroid kind of level theme thing. But at the same time, it's all like, it's Mega Man, you're not gonna come back here. So that was one of the other things I was like, that was kind of a bad design choice on my part. Um, there was a better way for me to do this. Um, the little push-up block things that are in, quite frankly, Sparkman stage. Um, you can step on them and they actually would have just shoot you up. So it kind of defeats the whole purpose of having this. But it was just something I had just because I didn't know what else to really do. I don't know why that I have this enemy there. Oh, he, he was kind of annoying. And then, um... The way how I had, like, saves in this stage was also a very annoying too. You can only get them through like here. There we go. And then of course, um, you need to have like the corresponding weapon to progress through quote unquote locked doors. Oh come on. Like I said, this is very poorly executed. I'm only making this video to actually have a video of this damn stage because I'm pretty sure no one actually played it. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Thank you. And then this here is where you like fight your first boss and blah blah blah. How exciting. First boss is pretty exciting. <laughs> and then what do you get after beating the boss? You get the crash bombs, or known as just regular bombs. And each time you get an item, you also get, like, two keys and stuff. Um, there are, I think, seven keys that are hidden throughout the area. As in, like, that are not given... That, that are given to you by not having to... That are not given to you by... <sighs> it's 4.43 in the morning, okay? <laughs> there are seven keys... That you can acquire by finding throughout the world. Obviously, one of those keys was very early on. Right after we got the rush coil, we used it to jump up to get that first key. That's the first, like, quote-unquote, hidden key. And then I think there's about, like, six more of these things. So we will have to just go through the world and find them. We don't have super missiles yet, so we can't go through the quote unquote wrecked ship area. This part sucks. I hated this part. I don't know why I created it like this. Okay, this part is. It makes sense. Very similar to what it is in Super Metro. But the next area after this, you guys will see. I don't know why I made it like this. This part right here is super, super annoying. Um, okay, that's just the energy. 
But since this is a bigger section of the stage... I will explore mo most of this when I get the high jump. Since there is something equivalent to the high jump in this stage, um, which is given to you really soon. Um, oops. First of that. I knew people were going to be frustrated with that, so that's why I did it like that, with the enemies and the um, HP pickups and weapon energy pickups. Hmm, I wonder what weapon we're going to get in this area. Uh-oh, looks like we're stuck here and we can't get out. Alright, this is where the checkpoint is. That's a long ways without the, without a checkpoint. If you died, it'd go back, like right before you got the crash bomb. Oh, there's another one of those enemies, which I cannot destroy with a charge shot. Uh-oh. Looks like I can't go through there just yet. I got one key. Let's go through here. <sighs> this is why this is annoying. Because... <laughs> At least we're back here. But we have all of this to work with. And that just does not want to detonate. Okay. <sighs> you see why this stage is flawed, right? <laughs> you can definitely tell why this stage is flawed. To tell you that. Missiles. They're just the best way to beat this little mini boss hot dog guy. <gasps> what? No, come on. You see why this stage is flawed, right? <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Go through all of that again. And then, like, there's a saving progress, like, up there for a checkpoint. I just have to get to it.
There we go. So annoying. Alright, before I do anything else, I want to go up there to grab that uh, checkpoint. Even though I probably should wait. I'm just gonna grab it now. Because you normally want to grab it on your way out. That's right. <laughs> Dear Lord, it's a level annoying. So, after we go through here, we have to go all the way back to the beginning of the level because we go to the wrecked ship area. And then after we go through all that and explore everything that's in there, then we go back to where this area is. Not all the way to this area, but like semi to this area to this uh, one door that's unlocked with just a regular missile. Here we go. Okay. There, and now we're given the high jump. Hooray! This one should be open again to grab. Because we kept dying. Might as well grab it. And that's the only way to leave this part of the level was with that. You should have access to the high jump boots. And I don't know why I have that there. I could have just had that as like another key. But it's not. So, yeah. You have to come back and get through this door. Then it sucks because you have to actually, like, play through the level to, like, know that. You really wouldn't know that otherwise. So, like I said, there's just a lot of stuff that is just flawed with this level. Money tank, and then here is where we use our star powers to help get get back up here, and then we'll have that. through it backwards without dying.
just gonna get to a checkpoint without dying. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh yeah, that's right, there are the bombs. Because you gotta have the bombs to get through there. <laughs> okay. Um, we're gonna get a checkpoint. Because having to go through all back over just to get over here would suck. It's almost like I had to suffer that bad game design. <laughs> way back when I created this level. I also created this level on Christmas. So like, Merry Christmas everybody. Also notice how I got that health pick up and like it doesn't mean anything now because I'm almost dead. But yeah, this level, I like it. Like, it's a lot to be desired, like I keep saying, but there's just oh, so many flaws with it. We're 22 minutes in and still on this level. Like, we've been playing this level for technically 17 minutes, almost 18 minutes now. But, like, we're 22 minutes and a half in the video here. And there's still two more whole sections we have to go through. The other key. Saving progress. It's not a saving progress. Oh, if I die, I have to... oh no. Okay, so I think I want to go up first. Okay. We're gonna play health drop. Please and thank you. Oh, I can't even go through this part. I just want one health pickup. Why did I not put in more health pickups in these areas? Okay, again, it's supposed to be hard, but like, come on, this is unfair. Okay, we're just gonna go through and see what happens. so hectic. No! Don't kill me now. I've worked so hard. <laughs> I worked so hard. I'm all the way back. Oh. 
Oh. <laughs> you see why this level is flawed? <laughs> there was no checkpoint. There was a perfect spot for a checkpoint. Like when you got the when you get past the dive missile part and you go through that small section, like in between the sections. I could have put a checkpoint right there, but no, I was like, I don't need a checkpoint. <laughs> Ugh. I just want to showcase this entire level, please and thank you. Okay. Right here. I could have put a checkpoint right here, and I said no. I said no, probably to the best idea known to man. Put a checkpoint right there. through. Let's go through the bullshit. Thank you. So much. There's a reason why I put that there. That was so annoying. And guess what? We gotta go down. And but then we go up. checkpoint mid-level. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, my. I'm so generous. Oh, yeah. Magnet Bean. Another E-Tank.
I'm sorry, I'm not talking so much. I, it is five in the morning. I am tired. To this stage. Okay, now we can go through here. Oh, I know the intended way to get it. Okay, so you want to go up here and then use item two right here. There we go. That's the intended way. I wanted people to get that item. I was like, how do I want people to get that? Okay, now we just gotta survive and not die. Is there just too much to ask right now? Thank you. It is too much to ask, but, you know. Yes. We will... do this. Okay, I'm just kidding. Um, we're gonna abuse the frick out of this. Yeah, so I was right. There was, there was seven keys. So when you used everything up, you have the seven keys, and then it's, um... That was the reason why I had it like that. Okay, cool. Half an hour in the video, which is about a half an hour through the level, and we're finally about to beat it. We got all the requirements. And we have to go through that one stupid part again, all over. checkpoint crap um yeah that's right because I didn't die afterwards frick all right you're just gonna have to have just that skill You have to not die.
here we go. So this here is the last section. And then we'll have three keys. we go, the final area of the game. I mean, final area of this stage. I actually, I want to fall. I'm like, just jump down. Please and thank you. There we go. And oh look, those are the Metroids. Yeah, those things. <laughs> those things are supposed to be Metroids. And then you have the four extra ones. You get this weapon. Metroids are given one last weapon, I believe. There we go. The weapon that's supposed to signify as the hyper beam. checkpoint. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank you. And then since we have the hyper beam, no point into not using it. DUI is annoying, but I'm really glad I got that checkpoint. <laughs> that would suck. Shame.
Oh yeah, that's right. So after you, after you beat Metal Man, um, if you exit out of the teleporter fast enough, then you'll get to the Samus ship ending part. But I yeah. So that right there was Mega Metroid, a painful level to create. This level took me very long. Um, in fact, I'll just show off the map while I'm at it. Hopefully this was level editor and not stage maker and level editor and not play. No, I don't want to do it again. I just want to um, go to the level editor so I can show y'all the build, load level, my levels. As you can see, Mega Metroid is glitching out my game and not letting stuff play properly. Yo ho. Ugh. 44 minutes in. About as long as the other video, too. And this is just for one stage. This is the reason why I did, like, an individual video for this. We're just gonna play it. Again, a song I love just because. So, if I remove all of that, that's the map. It is a very, very big stage. And then, um,. This right here. So, after you beat uh, him, essentially you'll go through this, and then you'll spawn here, and this is a little Samus's um, ship that I have. And that was essentially supposed to be the end of the stage, pretty much. I'll just play it right here, because it's not going to be that big of a deal. And this is what you're supposed to get, is your little victory champ. But yeah. <laughs> Ugh, that was my Mega Man Metroid, Mega Metroid Showcase. I will make a lot of changes to this level to help make it way better in the future and when I ever do recreate this thing. Um, but yeah. <laughs> With this without further ado, I'm gonna get some sleep. <laughs> My name is Little Me Glitch, and I'm signing out. I hope you all have a fantastic night. And I'll see you in the next dimension. <laughs>